Hey everybody, it's Sal here again with another video. Today I'm going to be talking about usage-based billing. For those of you that live outside of Canada, uh, right now the CRTC, which is uh, the Commission of Telecommunications, the Commissioner of Telecommunications here in Canada, which tell us what what can be played on the radio, what can be uh, uh, seen on the television, and all that jive. Um, they're uh, forcing uh, all the smaller telecom providers to start charging more for less internet. Okay, so right now I pay $31 a month for unlimited uh, bandwidth. Uh, if the CRTC's usage-based billing uh, idea goes through, for $31 I'm going to get 25 gigs of service. And for me as a content provider, that's not good because I upload all my videos in HD and that takes up a lot of bandwidth. Okay, We've got Netflix, we've got online gaming, all of that stuff. Apart from the, you know, the the gray area of downloading music and movies and all that stuff apart from that legitimate use needs a lot of bandwidth these days okay and that's where technology is going we're getting we need a lot more and all of a sudden the government is coming to us or sorry the CRTC which is a branch of the government is coming to us saying that hey we gotta start charging you more for less and this is all because of the telecom providers namely Bell Rogers Telus says they don't have nothing to do with this. Kojiko. And this is because up until now, um, the laws have allowed companies to pretty much monopolize on, on the, for example, Bell owns the telephone infrastructure. Uh, Rogers owns the cable TV infrastructure. Everything that, from their place, all the way, the cables that run all the way to your house. Uh, they own all that. So what the CRTC, CRTC did uh, several years ago was say that, you know what, you have to make that available to smarter, uh, smaller companies, third-party companies, uh, so there could be some competition. That was a good thing, which is very rarely seen from the CRTC, let me tell you, okay? So the smaller parties are now leasing the lines from the big telecom companies like Bell & Rogers. And I don't know what they pay, I don't know what it is, but the smaller companies offer great deals. Like I said, $31, and I get unlimited internet service, all right? So, that's great. Now, telecom providers are going to the CRTC and says, you know what, we'd like some usage-based billing. We want uh, to charge more uh, when people start using more, uh, you know, as they start downloading more, right? And the CRTC, as they are, they say, sure, why not? Because, you know, they give in to big business. That's what they do. Now, let me tell you something about the CRTC. They are run by a bunch of old fossils, okay? They buckle down at the pressure of big business, big telecom companies like Bell & Rogers, whatever they want, the CRTC gives them, okay? Um, they're, they're a bunch of, like I said, old fossils. They're dinosaurs. They're out of touch with technology. They're chaired. They're led by Conrad Vaughn. Uh, Finkelstein or Finkel, Finkelstein or something like that. Some jerk, okay, who's probably out of touch with technology and he's a tool, okay? I don't know how someone like this can be running the CRTC in 2011. I mean, everything is like, he's probably still like using steam to power his car or something. I don't know, but they got to dismantle that organization. The guy's a jerk. I guess only in this country uh, someone can just be the chief of police without knowing anything about the law, right? I mean, this Von Finkelstein doesn't know what he's doing, and uh, it's a big mistake. The CRTC is wrong. The CRTC doesn't know what they're doing. The CRTC isn't acting on the interest of Canadians, okay? And, um, and they got to be taken apart, blow them up dismantle that whole commission because it's just a waste of money. Now this usage-based billing uh, affects competition and, and let me tell you how it does. Uh, now as I said, $31 will cap you at 25 gigs of service. Now that is for everybody. That is for Acanic, Tech Savvy, Primus, you name it. All those third-party line leasers, okay, now they all have the same price. What's the point of, of, sh of uh, selecting the person's, uh, you know, um, s shopping by comparison? There's nothing to compare anymore. Those guys might as well all close their doors, go out of business, because they're all the same, right? 
what's the point? You can't have 10 people uh, uh, selling the same thing at the same price, right? There is no competition. And the Competition Bureau of Canada, okay, a federal organization, is nowhere to be, nowhere to be seen, nowhere to be heard, okay? Those guys are fallen, have fallen asleep, okay? They're probably sleeping at their desks, okay? And that is probably the only qualification you have to have because... I haven't heard from them. There hasn't been anything on their website about usage-based billing and, you know, the way it's going to kill competition, how it's going to kill business, okay? Looks like I've got, you know, I could sleep at my desk, so I'm a shoe in for that, but they probably got a long waiting list, right? But that's, that's where competition stands at, and that is where um, the Competition Bureau is at. They're sleeping on this, all right, which is totally wrong. Looks like that is another organization that needs to be uh, dismantled and uh, rebuilt, just like the Leafs. Also, I'm disappointed with the government of Canada. Our ruling government, the Conservative Party of Canada, stepped up to the plate on Twitter Wednesday and they said, oh, we're not going to let this happen. The CRTC better better take uh, take the rescind the ruling or we're going to uh, cancel it, right? Well, what the hell happened on Thursday? Because the next thing I heard after all this big, uh, big uh, um, announcement over Twitter, uh, their CRTC is going back to the drawing board and will come back with a better plan in 60 days. We don't want any plan. We don't want this at all. The government should have just said, forget about this idea. We don't, the, the Canadians don't want it. So don't even bother with it. So I'm really disappointed in the government, okay? You got Tony Clement, industry minister. The guy, you know, I, I don't know what happened. Everyone was like all behind them. Prime Minister Harper said, yeah, we're going to get them in front, of, <clears throat> uh, in front of us and have them explain, you know, what this whole, uh, what this whole metered bandwidth is all about. Next thing I know, they're going to be coming back to the, they're going to be coming back with a better plan. No, wrong, Okay. This is a clear example. I don't know what it is, but no bite to the bark, right? They can bark all they want, but there's no bite. This was proof right there, all right? I was really looking forward to this whole thing ending once the government uh, tweeted uh, on their uh, objection to this whole uh, internet thing. But um, they let me down, really disappointed with them. So before I go, folks, uh, for the Canadians out there, Please visit the website stopthemeter.ca. Sign the petition, okay? Because an email goes to Tony Clement and a bunch of other people. So sign the petition. I understand that we're really close to a million signatures on the petition, and it's important that you get your name on there because, I mean, if anything comes out of it, the government will see that, you know what, a lot of voters are th out there. Uh, aren't really happy with this ruling. So you know what? Let's get on their good side so maybe we can keep some votes. Because I'll tell you right now, something if something like this goes through, I don't know if I can support that conservative party anymore. All right? And, I, and I'll tell you right now, I do support them. But if, the, if, this, if this slips through their fingers, man, I'm out of there. So please remember to visit stopthemeter.ca and sign the peti uh, petition. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And thanks for watching. We'll see you next week.